Hi everyone, it's Tammy at Creative Girl Vintage and welcome back to my craft room. Today's a very special day because it is the first day of fall. This just happens to be my favorite warm and cozy season of all times. And so to celebrate, I wanted to share with all of you how I made this little autumn pocket with an enchanted pumpkin fairy tucked inside. out by using some chipboard sheets and as always all the supplies that I'm using today I will share with you in the description box below this video. This is a 50 point thick chipboard. Um, I thought it was nice and sturdy for this project and I easily cut that just using a little mat and a ruler. Little, little cutter there and I measured it out three inches by four and a half inches for this particular pocket we're going to be doing today. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to decoupage this with a paper napkin. Now, I know a lot of you have probably did decoupage with paper napkins before. I'm just going to cut off a piece so it's a little bit easier to work with. But for those of you who haven't, this is really fun to do. And a while back, I saw a crafter on YouTube separate the plies of her napkin in a really great way. So um, paper napkins will be like two or three plies. Grab yourself a piece of tape and let me just kind of fold the tape over here just a little bit and okay there you go. And so we start separating these plies. Okay, now this to me was one of the greatest tips that I ever found simply because I had actually, oh, there's going to be another ply here. See, there's still a little white, white paper here. All right, we want to get rid of all the white on the back. So I would grab I, I, like my magnifiers, my tweezers, and everything I had on the corner just fooling and fooling with it till I could finally get it to separate to pull these plies off. And when I found this tip, I was just ingenious. <laughs> okay, so we got our chipboard here. Let us put a nice even coat of Mod Podge right on the top of this. Okay, making sure we get all those edges covered well. All right, depending on what napkin decoration that you have, you might want to, um, you know, center kind of your decoration on kind of where you want it. I love those little little red mushrooms right there. I'm just going to gently lay this on here and gently press it down. This paper napkin is very delicate, especially when it's wet. It's way more delicate. You can let this dry before you cut it off of your board, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it today. And just using the edge of the chipboard with my scissor, I'm going to use that edge as a guide and just trim off this excess napkin paper here. And um, I, I tried to be um, like really smart and think I could just take my paper and rip it off. And what I got was basically this because it was wet and it pulled it back. So um, this is definitely a mistake, but you know what? Mistakes are good because if you make a bunch of mistakes, eventually you're gonna make something really good. So just let those mistakes flow. Not a big deal at all. And you really learn from it too. Okay, so this looks really nice and it's definitely wet. So we're gonna set that aside and let that dry. Let's bring out our image here. Now the image I'm going to be using today, I found on Etsy and this came from um, the shop called Madodo Art. 
and um, I linked that below for you. So if you want to grab a pumpkin fairy, there were 12 fairies in this download, and um, I just want to thank Madodo Art for the inspiration today. And I sized my fairies basically like three and a half inches. So if you want to kind of go by that guideline, that was good too. And now this step here is completely optional, but I love doing this. I love this step. So I'm going to grab a book page, okay? Let's flip this over. How about uh, we'll use the glue stick for this. I'm going to put an even coat on the back. My image here, I probably could have cut a little bit more of that paper off, but I didn't, but that's okay. All right, and then we're going to, this. we're going to lay her down on the book page and we're going to set her aside and let her dry. My suggestion here would be grab yourself a book, pop it on top, let that dry, let her get nice and flat and uh, it's just, it's, it's a really good step. And what I love about doing this, now you can do this with a book page, scrapbook paper, um, sheet music, just kind of whatever you have, is the finished product here when you get done is really pretty on the back. And I feel like making that, um, making the back of your work look really nice too is always such a special touch. And I just used my little Cutter B scissors here once this was dry. Fussy cut it her out and we've got her ready to go. All right, so we've got our paper napkin drying. We've got our fairy under a book drying and um, we'll be right back for the next step. All right, with all things dry, let's move forward. And um, I'm going to use one of my little sanding sponges here and just go around the edges of my chipboard. And you know, if you missed a little something, it's gonna just clean up those edges. And what I like to do here on the corners is wear it down a little bit and that chipboard shows through. And just makes it a little bit more vintagey. Okay, and then while we're at it, let me just flip this over because you know I like to do stuff on the back. So this is a gorgeous little rubber stamp set that I found at Red Lead. And I thought what I would do on the back here is put this little deer on the back oh, so cute and then this little saying says um, wait let me make sure I'm not upside down oh, that's good it says an autumn forest all right so I like to put little surprises on the back of my work and let's flip that back over and also, while we're getting things ready here, I made this little autumn sign here. It says autumn, the season after summer and before winter, when crops and fruits are gathered and leaves fall. This is a freebie for you guys. This is on my blog. If you'd like to have it, just go over there and um, right click and save it. And what I did there is I was in the process of tearing this all around. Got my ruler here so you can see what I'm doing and just laid my ruler down on the edge, folded up a little. And by the way, this I printed this on just regular uh, lightweight cardstock as well as the fairy too. They're on a lightweight cardstock. Okay, and then I just, just rip that off and that gives it like a really nice edge. Grabbing some Distress Ink. And I'm going to be using uh, the color Vintage Photo today. And this really needs it because, you know, you've got a lot of white paper there. But, you know, look at this. In the Magic Forest, this turns into looking like some old paper that we dredged up from somewhere. Okay, it's pretty. And then while we have our ink out, we might as well... Just ink up our little fairy wings. I love using this Distress Ink. Okay. And you know what? If you want to, you can go around your edges too while you have your ink out. It's pretty, right? Very pretty. Okay. 
next thing we are going to do is how about get rid of all these crumbs? That would be a, good, a real good idea for starters. All right, and um, I'm going to use my crocodile on this because to punch two holes, this is this um, chipboard is really, really too hard for like a little office supply hole punch to go through. So I'm going to be using that tool for the heavy duty work. And let me grab some vintage seam binding here. I have got a really big collection of vintage seam binding that I have found at the flea market over many, many years too. It, it wasn't like I just went there and, and uh, you know, loaded up. It took a long time. And, um, but I linked for you some fall colors in the description box that I, if I didn't have this, I would, I would, I would use those. They're really pretty. All right. So I'm just going to put these, the, put the first color in and do a little, do a little bow. And then I'm going to run a second color in and do the same thing on top of it. Just so it's kind of all fluffy and pretty. You can use all those beautiful autumn colors too. Okay. I mean, I know it's it is the first day of fall. Um, I wish the weather felt a little bit more like it, but I think we're getting there out here on the East Coast, on the Jersey Shore. Um, but you know, we're still having days that are close to eighty. So hopefully, hopefully that cool air is gonna start coming through. All right, you can fiddle and fuss with this as much as you like. I mean, I could sit there and fiddle with it for another 10 minutes, but I'm not gonna do it. But here we go. Look at that, isn't that cute? All right. I have also found a piece of scrap lace. And this probably you can just use anything you had, but I thought this was just pretty for this project. I think the color black went really nice with the background of this paper napkin. I'm gonna run a bead of hot glue along the bottom. I am gonna pop this right on right here. And let me just do the sides. So we're making a pocket. We're not going across here. We're just gonna go along the sides here. Okay. Right, hold on a second. My husband just came home. Apologies. Now he, he came in the door and he was yelling for me and um, I thought I'd better, I'd better take care of that. Okay, so here is our little autumn sign. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. And I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of careful. I'm gonna lay it really gently on that lace and kind of tuck my hand under here a little bit just because I don't want the hot glue seeping through that lace and closing up the pocket. Okay, that's probably good and dry now. It puffs the pocket out a little bit too, so that looks cute. And then I had a little black button here. And I'm gonna pop that in right there. And we have our pocket looking really beautiful. So now let us decorate this adorable little pumpkin fairy. I'm gonna pull out that little rubber stamp again that says, um, on Autumn Forest. I'm gonna put that right there on her little fairy wing. That's darling. Okay, and how about a little Mod Podge on that wing? And we're gonna put a little bit of glitter sparkle on her. Okay, isn't she adorable? All right, one of the things I did when I popped her in her little pocket, I gotta be careful here because my glitter is a little bit wet here, is I folded her wings in a little bit and it gave it a cute little three-dimensional look of her wings popping out and see how nice with that book page on the back. So pretty. My finishing touch, my husband and I walk in um, a beautiful park every every morning. We have, it's filled with deer. It's all in the woods. It's so beautiful. And I found, I've been finding over my walks, these adorable little acorns. 
And I think I'm going to take one of these and for my finishing touch, add it right on to the ribbon right here. And there you go. Here is our autumn pocket with an enchanted pumpkin fairy. And I think today I'm going to pull out all my fall decorations, um, maybe mix up a spiced apple cider. I don't, sounds pretty good. So I'm wishing all of you a beautiful autumn season. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for another creative project.